Right, so if we carry on now and look at the, um, the cash policies that are available. So data coherency is one of the, um, I'll say issues that you have when it comes to using cash. So normally your CPU core will be writing to the cache and information will be going back to the core and then back to the cache. So at that point there, what's in the cache is now no longer representative of what's in the main memory, which your DMA, your debugger, and any other masters on the bus matrix are accessing. Because on the TCMs, you saw there was a module so that the DMAs could talk to the memories on the TCM bus. The cache is really, really internal to the core. So there's no way for the DMAs to access the cache. So now you've got to try and decide how you're going to manage the benefits that the cache provides within the respect of your whole application. So one way is don't use the cache, but you've just lost all the benefit that we've just shown that the cache is going to bring. Uh, you can invalidate the cache when you pass the control over to one of the other masters. So when you move to the DMA to do something, you can say, scrap what's ever in the cache. Again, potentially you're losing the benefits of the cache. Or you can start using cache policies. So there's a couple of policies that we have uh, to help you manage how you work with the cache. The write-through policy is probably the, going to be the most widely used um, within your application. So this means every time you access the cache, it will also send the same information out to the external memory. Your cache is running internal in the core. This is on the external bus matrix, which could be being used by something else on the application and might not respond as fast as the cache, correct? So there will be a time penalty when you do this right through. So you'll lose a bit of the performance of just using the cache on its own. Or you can do the right back policy, which is what we've been using up to now, where we just update the cache. And then you can actually work with the flags that are in the cache. So depending on what you're doing within the application, you might be able to do a big chunk of data before one of these DMAs or other entities external needs to be able to see or use that information. So therefore you can do all the information directly on the cache for speed and you can look to see if the dirty flag is set and then that means you know that your RAM is no longer matching what your cache is. So and then you've got the ability then to do the right back to the main RAM at a later point. So again, it all depends on how you're managing your application. It will depend on how you work with the two policies of the cache.